today's video, we're going to take a look at the Conspiracy uh, Palette and the Mini Controversy Palette. I'm going to do a full face with these. So what I mean by that is I'm going to use shadows that are in this as blush, as bronzer, and I'm also going to do my eyes uh, with these and, and highlight. And I just received this today. Today is November 22nd, so I ordered this on November 1st when it became available and it's taken quite a while to get here um but it is so pretty I, I don't know if the lighting in here the lights that i use are going to do it justice but it's just very um it's very pretty it's a very nice palette what what i really the reason i wanted this palette is for this color right here and now uh, that one is called my apology and I don't have anything quite like that one in my collection. Um, these also are very nice. These up here um, are very nice colors to work with. This is more of a highlighting shade and this is more of a blending shade. Not sure how often I'll go into the blues. However, this sapphire blue shimmer is gorgeous. I'll just swipe that right here for you. It is just beautiful, beautiful tone. Um, the purple matte, um, probably won't use it very much, but I really wanted these colors. Like if this was a, if this here was a quad, that that's my jam right there. So I'm going to do an eye look that was inspired by Lisa Eldridge. You know that she's, she's my muse. Um, I just love the way she does makeup. So what I've done so far is I have put on foundation, a little bit of concealer, I put my brows on, and then I just took a black uh, pencil. It's, I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. It's a brand called Star Looks. And I just uh, did a rough line on my eyes because I wanted to have a little bit of something there. Uh, this is a kind of um, intense, uh, monochromatic look and i'm really excited to, to try it so um without any further ado my name's rose if you're here for the first time welcome to my channel beauty boomer and if you're a new subscriber returning subscriber i welcome you back if you're not subscribed please hit the uh, the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of all of my upcoming videos and sometimes i do live streams as well so let's just jump right into this Okay, so the look I'm doing is pretty bold. Um, I'm gonna start off in my crease with the color um, Not A Fat. So it's this real dark burgundy color. And I'm just using a Morphe brush. This is, oh gosh, so hard to see without my glasses, y'all. But it's a Morphe brush. It's just a real basic kind of crease brush. I don't know the number. So I'm just going to tap this in. I primed my lids with Painterly by MAC. And I'm just kind of going in. You know, I don't like this brush. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss 17. That Morphe brush wasn't working for me. So just tapping this in. Oh, that's better. Sometimes it's the brush and not the shadow. You know, sometimes you pick up a shadow and um, you think, well, boy, this isn't uh, depositing very well. And a lot of times it's the brush. So I'm just tapping this in. I'm not blending yet. I'm just kind of tapping it where I want it. So now I'm gonna go into the color, my apology. And I'm going to take a packing brush. And I'm just going to pack that on my lid. And I'm kind of going right up into 
where I placed uh, the other color, the not a fat color. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little brush, little blending brush, and then I'm going to dip into the color Cry on My Couch, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna start blending out the edge with that. softening that and you see as I blend it's bringing the color up further and then I'm going to just take a bigger fluffy brush and work that out it just kind of has a gradual fade so, so far I haven't gotten really any fallout. Um, like looking, I'm looking in the mirror and I probably maybe should have used tapes or done my foundation second. Um, Cause I, I feel like it got a little low. Uh, the color got a little low here on the corners. Um, but we're just gonna, we'll just try to make it work. So now what I'm going to do is take this purple shade and align, use that as a liner. I'm going to go over where I put that black uh, line. So I'm going to use that black pencil that I did originally sort of as my guideline. And I'm going to take this little smudgy brush. And get right on by the lashes with this. And now I'm gonna just put a little bit of highlighter right here. And that is uh, my boyfriend's purse, this color right there. Um, so I think we're done with the top of the eyes now. Um, we'll go into the lower lash line and we'll go in um, again uh, with this little uh, smudger brush and we're gonna go right into um, Not A Fact. And I'm gonna dip a little bit into the black. Just wanna kinda, I'm going kinda back and forth into the black and into the not a fact, cause I don't want a real black rim. And then I go back into that little brush I used before and go back into the purple. And just kinda smoke that out. I'm just taking this fluffy brush with no product and I keep wiping it off and I'm just kind of shearing out the corner, the outer corner. Okay, so these are the eyes without any lashes. So now um, we're gonna go into the color Tanicon. That's the color that Jeffrey recommended. If you were going to use that kind of as a light bronzer. We will use this brush. And I'm going right here underneath the high point of my cheek and then brushing up the forehead a little bit.
it's not awful, but I probably wouldn't use it again as a um, bronzer. But for this kind of uh, experiment, if you will, and I'm going to kind of tone it down with a little bit of powder. There we go. There we go. So, okay. It's no longer a full face of, of Jeffree Star. But you get, you get the picture. So now um, I'm going to go into this color. Ooh, a lot of kick up. Uh, pig meat. The pink in the palette. But this is a pretty soft pink. This makes a very nice blush. And with no additional powder on my big powder brush, I'm just going to kind of work that all together. So I'm going to step away. I am going to put on my lashes and my lips, and we'll be back with the finished look. So I'll be right back. And I am back, and this is the finished look. So uh, in keeping with the Lisa Eldridge theme of the eyes, I did use a couple of her new velvet uh, lipsticks. Uh, I just bought three of them. I haven't done like a dedicated video because I, I didn't buy the whole collection, and I only bought three. Uh, but she makes these beautiful lipsticks. They come in a gold a uh, cylinder with a magnetic clasp. She only does uh, one release a year. And so um, she came out with some new colors. So I got um, on my lips is a combination of Velvet Beauty and Velvet Muse. So uh, one is a little bit more pinky and one is a little bit more nude. So I, I went down with the pinker one first and then I put the other one sort of in the center and I lined my lips with the Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in the color Share that I purchased with my own money. <laughs> so this is not a sponsored video, but I do have a code with uh, Gerard Cosmetics that you can use for 30% off. So. You know, there's new FTC rules uh, that are in play. So anytime I use a product by Gerard Cosmetics, I have to state that I am an affiliate. So I hope it doesn't become redundant. Uh, it's just the way it is. You know, I don't want to get fined um, for breaking any of these new rules. Uh, you can go online to the FTC and read about these new rules if you want to. But You'll be seeing a lot of more influencers, I think, you know, we're supposed to state anytime we use a product that we have an affiliation with, where you have to disclose that. So everything else on my face, with the exception of that little bit of uh, Patrick Star powder, was Jeffree Star, and the lips are Lisa Eldridge. Um, you know, I, I like this look. I think it's... Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting into these dramatic looks and the, I like the monochrome uh, look, monochrome feeling of it. I'm really happy that I was going on back and forth on the fence. I tried to cancel this uh, order and then the cancellation didn't go through, but I'm really glad that I decided to keep it because I really like the colors in this mini controversy. So that is it. That is my look for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.